uh, there is something that is very unfortunate that is happening in this country called Kenya. And I think it is an orchestrated move to demean persons with disabilities and to sacrifice them. And we all know we have always said that this thing called uh, BBI is a snake because that is what we are told by uh, Raela. We have also said that uh, ODM have a fair share of sorcerers. And uh, it is true today because there is an orchestrated move to sacrifice persons with disability. I don't know if it is that is what they were told for BBI to pass because we have just buried Christopher Nderito, who was killed by overspeeding, overlapping politician car, cars in GK number plate who are rushing to Sagana. And again yesterday, the body of a 12-year-old child from Isiolo with cerebral palsy was found after she was killed and after she was raped. She was raped and then killed. And again, the same day is when Honorable Janet or is it Junet Mohammed, anyway, the difference is the same, talked in Turkana and demean persons with disability by insinuating that Honorable Maora and by extension albinism in the world do not deserve to be persons with disability. And this is a categorization of World Health Organization. Now, Junet have become more than World Health Organization, have become more than the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disability. ODM is now the United Nations body that can prescribe who is supposed to be a person with disability and who is not supposed to be. Junet demean persons with disability, disabilities generally, and it in total disregard of Article 54 of our constitution that says that person with disability should not be demeaned and should be treated with dignity and respect like any other Kenyan. Honorable Junet, Honorable Janet or Junet, even if we belong to different political affiliations, please, our dis disability is cross-cutting. Even in your brigade, of NASA or ODM or whatever you call yourself, or Kieleweke or BBI prominent, they are also persons with disabilities. They deserve respect. They are persons with albinism who are supporting BBI. They deserve respect, Honorable Janet Mohammed. You must respect them and you must treat them with dignity. And why I am saying that it is an orchestrated move. All these things cannot be coincident. All these things cannot be just a mere incident. That yesterday we buried Christopher Nderito, killed by overspeeding, overlapping GK vehicles, carrying a very prominent politician pro BBI. Yesterday again we found the body of a 12 year celebral Pasi child with disability, who have been killed after being raped and her body mutilated. And yesterday again, when the body of Nimo, the child with disability, was taken to mochari, they say the mochari is full in Siolo. They don't accept us while we are alive. They don't accept us when we are dead. Again yesterday, and that's why I'm saying it's an orchestrated move, Honorable Junet, the mean person with disability, in public. And again yesterday, Babu Owino, through his uh, Facebook page, demeaned person with disability by bringing a hyena with uh, albinism and claiming that he is uh, Honorable Maura. And that uh, we got free seats as a person with disability because we are nominated. Honorable Babu Owino. If I got a free seat because I'm nominated, did you buy yours? Because it is against our constitution for you to bribe voters or for you to buy votes. 
So if you are insinuating that you, you, you did not get it free, you bought it, then my friend, I think you are a candidate for DCI and ESEC. Because in Kenya, all elected leaders, either special elected, that is nominated, or elected in the ballot, all of you got free votes according to the presumption of our constitution. No one bought any vote. So what was Babu Wino insinuating? So it was actually an orchestrated move. And I fear for my country. There was a lot of sacrifice of personal albinism in our neighboring countries. Today, there is sacrifice of persons with disability in Kenya so that they can appease their Illuminati or their demonic gods for BBI to pass through or for them to be elected in 2022. Because why should it be from one side? Everything is happening and is happening. It cannot be a coincidence. It cannot be a coincidence. When we went for the burial of uh, the late uh, Christopher Derito, he was knocked out of his wheelchair. And then two GK vehicles ran over him. And then in his burial, the bishop was bribed so that nobody sent condolences, not leaders of personal disability, nobody. He was supposed to be buried by 11 a.m., thrown into the grave like a dog. It is only because of the intervention of the residents that demanded that leaders of personal disability should give their condolences to their family so that we can assist the children that were left behind and the widow that was left behind. It cannot be a coincidence. The burial ceremony of Nderito was killed by overseeding GK cars is claimed by the police spokesperson that he does not know the GK number plate car belonged to who and who was in that GK car. Yet we know very well that there is what we call work permit, that every government officer must indicate the car number plate, who is in the car, who is the driver before they get out. But the police spokesman says that they don't know. The burial of Christopher Derito was boycotted by the area MP, Honorable Kaninigaga, the MCA, the chiefs, everyone. They were busy with BBI, with the youth. This is an orchestrated move to sacrifice persons with disabilities. And then again, the same day, the body of Nimo a child with disability, cerebral palsy, was found having been dumped in the bush after being raped and killed and her body mutilated. No, 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 no. This one, all of them cannot be a coincidence. The same day, Honorable Junette or Janet is speaking against personal disability. And the same day, Babu Wino is having a monkey with albinism as Honorable Maura and claiming that all nominated members of parliament got their seats free of charge. Honorable Junet said that us as persons with disability were sent by God from heaven to come and complain on earth. No, oh, my friend, my friend. So that if I speak because of a dead person with disability by the name Christopher Derito that was killed, murdered by the same government that is supposed to protect him, then I am complaining. If I speak of a mutilated body, of Nimo, a child with cerebral palsy, being rejected in mortuary, being reject, rejected in death, then I've been sent by God to complain. Honorable Junette or Janet, the difference is the same. You have stepped on a live wire. No, 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 no. In fact, you have hugged a transformer. And I can assure you, it will be messy and you will not go scot-free. We have our constitution that protects us. We have the Act of Parliament of 20, 2003, session paper number 14, that protects us. We have international instruments like the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disability. We will pursue justice within our borders. And if it fail, 
we will pursue justice outside our borders because the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, Kenya ratified in 2008. Therefore, it has domesticated it and it is part of our laws. So, <laughs> you may bribe the DCI, you may have all the powers to control ESCC and even our judiciary because uh, you are ganging now judiciary through judiciary ombudsman. You may gang them, but I can assure you, Kenya ratified the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disability. We will pursue justice from that angle. And you will not get, you will not go scot-free. I can assure you. And you know, I never threaten anybody. I just give a promise. And as far as I have breath in my lungs, Christopher Nderito will get justice. The late Nimo, the child with cerebral palsy, killed, raped, and her body mutilated, will get justice. Honorable Maura, who is a person with disability, a category of albinism, will get justice, as far as I have breath in my lungs. I can assure you that. That is not a threat. It's a promise. Honorable Janet Mohammed, you will get it, and you will see it tough. That is an assurance I'll give you. And I want to assure persons with disabilities across the country. Don't you worry. We have organized a team of uh, pastors and imams to pray for us so that, that those, those who are sacrificing us to appease their demons for the sake of BBI in 2022 election, they will be defeated in Jesus' names. Their imams are ready. Their pastors, bishops are ready. We will redeem our country. The two that have already been sacrificed will be the last because we believe in our God. We believe in God that is in heaven. We are created in the image and likeness of God. And we cannot witness in Kenya what we witness in a neighboring country where body parts of some of us who are being used for witchcraft. In Kenya, it is not possible. Because the body of Nemo, the child with the cerebral palsy from Isiolo, was mutilated, was raped. And mostly, some body parts may be missing. And it rejected in the mortuary. That is a demonic, orchestrated move that is summarized in short, by Honorable Janet Mohammed or Junet Mohammed. But you will not get scot-free. You will not go scot-free.